Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to CodingBot. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Android Studio any kind of a version for your Windows computer. Before going to the video, make sure to subscribe for our channel CodingBot and turn on the bell icon to get more tutorials in the future. Let's start. You can see this is the official website for Android developers provided by Google company. This is the URL developer.android.com. I will put the link on the description. You can refer that link as well or else just Google as Android developer site. By scrolling down, you can see there are many resources which uh, is sample codes and quality guidelines, developer guidelines. This is the official website you can refer to get a bigger knowledge when we are coding with Android Studio. But here is no any proper link to download Android Studio that is the complaining by the users and people are facing for a bigger problem where is the link in which link we have to go to um, download the android studio any version this is um, download android studio button we can click that but going to this page it is mentioning only the latest version you can see android studio bumblebee this is the um, latest version for now and you can download the latest version by click on this download android studio button and by going to download options it is directing to here and there it is a very complex uh, we cannot easily find the download page for download any uh, version for android studio this is the direct link i will put the link on the description as well please check the um, description of this video you can refer this link to go to this page by scrolling down uh, we can agree for these uh, terms and conditions this is the uh, page for android studio download achieves i'm going to accept it and in this page you can see here is all the versions of android releases android 4.1 and android 3.4 3.3 and 2.0 2.5 2.4 2 this is here is the all the releases of past releases and future releases and recent releases all releases signed here and you can download any version of android studio by click on the um, respective link which we are need to download now I'm going to download Android Studio 4.1.2 because it is a very good and very stable version. By click on here, you can uh, expand this link. You can expand any link. Here we have to get the download options, installers and Windows ID only, 64-bit and Chrome OS, Mac OS version and zip files you can download. Now I'm going to download the direct installer by click on this window ID only, 64-bit by click on this link directly we can download um, the android studio exe file to our windows computer to our downloaded directory now i'm going to go to my uh, downloaded directory in here you can double click on the exe file wait until it is initializing you can see verifying installer then it is uh, displaying us the installation wizard in here we can click on next and uh, put a tick on the android virtual device click on next this is the installation directory change it if you need i will keep the default directory which is in c drive and uh, don't change anything click on install button in here now it is starting the installation process um in this process not essential the internet connection for the computer click on finish but in the next steps it is requiring the internet connection make sure to give the connection to your computer click on the do not import settings select it and click on ok you can see android studio is launching in this process it is requiring the internet connection for your computer it is downloading some files and configurations and extensions click on next in here we can select the standard version or the custom version standard version is good for me as a developer click on next and uh, dark mode is good for me regular mode or the dark mode i don't like light mode click on next in here it is uh, displaying what are the things it is going to download in the next process start in download after clicking the finishing button 
and it is uh, taking some time up to your computer specs and up to your internet connection then click on finish button in here welcome to android studio we can create a new project click on create new project option in here and select the activity type i am selecting empty and uh, you can change something in here and click on finish you can see our new android studio project is created like this welcome to android studio you can see this is the ide interface in the left side we can see our android studio project uh, view and this is the main activity dot kotlin you can change it to uh, java as well right now i'm going to show you how to create an emulator click on this avd manage icon and create virtual device option in here we can uh, select our android de virtual device now i'm going to create a device uh, pixel 3 device is good for me because it is a good device pixel 3 and click on the next button and again we need the internet connection we need a good internet connection we can select the system image uh, you can see q pi oreo i'm going to download q accept for the terms and terms and conditions click on next in this process it is requiring a very strengthy internet connection please use wi-fi don't use mobile hotspot and you can see it is downloading the system image of the operating system for our device it will take up to five minutes sometimes it may be taking 10 minutes according to internet connection then it is unzipping the files checking existing file yeah it is again unzipping after this process you can click on finish button you can see our operating system is q android studio q for the android emulator you can give avd name pixel 3 fi 29 is good click on finish button in here creating virtual device you can see it is adding to here you can create more devices like this click on this uh, play button or the start button to start the android emulator which you have created previously you can see it is uh, showing the down below starting avd this is our android emulator and we have downloaded we have installed android studio for our windows pc as well that's all guys i think you learned something i think this video was helpful to you thanks for watching guys i will meet you soon in the next video make sure to subscribe for coding board and share this video to your batchmates as well bye guys